Hello T-Shirt viewers, today we are discussing about electrical engineering. So, Manandarik Dilsu, electrical engineering is one of the core branch in engineering section. So, at the Dada Mana observe jeste, he engineering courses starting nunchi and a basic engineering and a diploma engineering. Tarvata, B.Tech Engineering, Tarvata Master's Engineering, entire engineering system na analysis jeste. Tada pui pilla landaru course jenaudan ki electrical engineering jenaudan kunchom satamata histeru. Yendu kante, yeh electrical engineering ani the core subject and toughest subject ani market lo andar an kunte na vyast. Kani yeh electrical engineering sadina vidyarthi, the students they cannot uh, uh, what do you call that uh, ideal ga migil poru ante vere course chadina vidyarthule emaina ideal ga migil povachu kani ee electrical sambandhinchina vidyarthi ikkada uh, kali ga undadaniki veel ledhu endukante enduku cheptunnanu ante ee electrical subject anedi purely industry related subject and purely industry related subject and at the same time the subject electrical engineering is real time usable subject for the industry ante own ga oka uh, a shop pit ko na, a winding shop pit ko na, or else, for example, electrical, electrical, electrical leko na manam a instrument na dalu. Without electrical, there is no instrument. So, like, like, uh, if you take an electrical engineering, so basic house wiring is good example. So, house wiring is good example. Without house wiring, we cannot make it. AI, AML cannot make house wiring. Our computer programming cannot make house wiring. Our any other programs are cannot make house wiring. So, in the light of the house wiring, we have electrical engineering, computer, uh, electrical engineering. So, in that case, at the example, house wiring section example, this is house wiring, for example, NTPC, National Thermal Power Corporation, or power grids, power generation agencies, Transco, or, or, or for Northern Power Supply, or Western Power Supply. So, you have power supply agencies, and need good. Electrical engineers. Here is light low matter, for example, electrical supply is light low matter. So, nothing but, so everywhere electrical engineers requirement is much more demand in the market. So, it is a rare subject, rare subject in the sense, regular subject as engineering students, but if you study in rare manner, means good manner, tough manner, so definitely you will be placed in a good uh, uh, assistant engineers or AW engineers or any other engineers in the society related job. This is also job, nothing but a ideal job or a market job. It is a society related job. You people can enjoy your life in the society by serving the society in the nature of your profession. So, what is electrical engineering? Electrical engineering is an engineering discipline concerned with the study, design and application of equipment, devices and system which use electricity, electronics and electromagnetisms. So, this electrical and electronics. So, engineering nothing but this a combination is electrical and electronics. So, without electrical there is no electronics. Without electronics there is no electrical. So, nothing but there is an interlinked subject. Electronics and electric, electrical is interlinked, interlinked subject. So, 30 percent subjects are electronic subjects and 70 percent is so electrical subjects. So, electrical subjects is, is mostly it is problem oriented subject and problem analysis subject and a principal manner subject. Every subject is based on the principles analysis. So, theorems analysis. Pratidhi yoko theorem and theorem based analysis. And theorem on subject theorem leko te anna chepalim. And for a superposition theorem on the lebo te thivarence theorem on the. And the theorems and electrical theorems and the theorems nech ko nunte ne manamu subject me the avagahana bench ko galam. And the koncham subject oriented subject and students those who are interested to join in trivially so mathematics and physics and chemistry fundamentals are very much essential and very much strong at the same time these trivially students are going to be benefited for the society they can enjoy their life by learning the subject in fruitful manner so michael faraday is the formed the foundation for electrical technology so electricity has been the subject of the scientific interest of the last 17th century the first electrical engineer was probably William Gilbert. So, as of you know that, so first year electrical engineer is William Gilbert. This is the subject uh, uh, details, just I am enclosing. So, so he was the first to draw the distinction between the magnetism and electricity, created establishment of electricity. So, that is why 
so almost all 19, 1882 onwards, the research is going on this electricity. So power, power, power saving is one of the biggest problem now. So saving power is biggest problem. So saving power is depending on this research of the uh, electrical engineers only. How to save the power, how to convert the power or how to this uh, electrical power into solar power into electrical power. How to generate this power into different uh, wind power or different uh, rain power or sea power. So like different sources power is available. So from that forces, sources we are generating the power to supply all companies and agencies. So generating power is one of the different, uh, different uh, problem. So to power is not enough for our the society. So in that case, power generation skills. So research is going on in the future, dis future, of, future of these electrical engineers. There are many advantages using electrical energy. Transmission efficiency in high and uh, transpond to anywhere. It is a clean and eco-friendly, easy and quick conversion of energy, time taken to transport fraction of second and amplification of attention is possible. Hence, all the engineers' uh, energies are converting into the electrical energy. So, resources available in the different areas, so we need to be converted into, so for example, from the uh, garbage, from the garbage also we are generating electrical energy. So, resources available in the nature, different resources, we need to be convert that resources into electrical energy. So, that is possible by this electrical engineers only. Nothing but these students, those who are joining in this electrical engineering, they need to be work on these theorems and these process need to be generate the electricity for the society. So, need to be work out to be as a electrical engineer to benefit of the society as well as the human beings. So, the grass electricity consumes in uh, 2018 to till now is 1.1 181 kilowatts per capita. The national electricity policy envisages that per capita available for electricity is uh, 1000 units by 1222. So that is uh, old data. So recently the data is enhanced up to 2020, 2022, 2030. So data is not 1000 units. It's going to up to 2000 or 3000 units for each individuals because consuming of electricity for each individuals is more now. So, need to be, so without uh, fan we cannot survive, without AC we cannot survive, without uh, electricity pump supply we cannot survive. So, in that case, so water to generate water, to generate electricity, to generate, generate anything possible by only this electricity only. So, without electricity we cannot run the system. So, electric energy consumption is agriculture was 17.89% in worldwide. The government of India launched the program called Power of All in 2006. Nothing but each individuals, each remote place need to be send a power. So that is aim of our government or agencies. So need to be peep. Now they are many governments are supplying free power to all the farmers and small scale industries. So how can we survive? So sending the free power to all these agencies. So government is schemes are allowing. But at the same time, production is much more important and generation of power is much more important. So, saving power is one of the biggest problem. At the same time, serving, serving of the power for each individual at corner of the uh, earth is one of the problem. And secured electricity and safe electricity and quality electricity sending is one of the biggest problem. So, these, these, in these three cases, these electricity engineers is much more important. So, in India, power transmission and distribution losses is about 33 percent. Second highest in the world, the loss of are reduced by 16 percent. We can save 26,000 million milliwatts, megawatts on 60,000 megawatt instantly capacity. Nothing but if you are saving power, you can save that, uh, that much of power, 26,000 megawatts on each individual. So, nothing but 33 percent of the power you are wasting. So, to save that 33 percent power, by using this uh, saving of the power, we can generate reproducing the power in immediately. Nothing but saving power is nothing but you are producing power or reproducing power or generating power. So that is nothing but stopping or consuming electricity or losing electricity is nothing but you are saving power. So that is given by government. So to save energy and save nation. The economic growth and standard of living in any country depends mainly upon the per capita consumption of electricity power. Name any appliance in home is very big industries use electrical energy and the drives of electronic control. So that's why so many countries and uh, many states and many uh, 
uh, agencies also serving this uh, power power controlling only. So power supply is the biggest problem now. So that's why the power generation and production is very much important by using these different uh, grids and different uh, transmission agencies we are generating and produ producing the power so in to secure to our safe our nation that's why the tbli students will have very big future bright future the training the electrical and electronic engineering students undergo during their course will be enhanced their analytical ability and their minds will be sharpened so during this course of btech electrical engineering student can join from the second year onwards they will be entered into core subjects so electrical technology power systems and different subjects are there i will show that so by analyzing these subjects student if you learn perfectly definitely there you will be thorough on the knowledge you will be gained on subject and you will be placed in the different uh, agencies like government sectors and public agents public service agents so sub discipline in this power electronics is the one of the power engineering is the one of the sub subsection in the electrical engineering so this it is in master areas so nothing but a research oriented subject so power engineering deals with the generation and transmission of distribution of electricity as well as design of the range of related devices these includes transforms transformers electrical generators electrical motors high voltage engineers and power electronics so these power engineering power system engineering are the specialized engineers they'll work on super super specialization of the power generation so these power engineers mostly work on to generate and reproduction of the power sub disciplines in electrical engineering is power engineering so power engineering deals with the generation transmission and distribution of electricity as well as the design of range of related devices these include transforms electrical generators electrical motors and high voltage engineering and power electronics so these are the specialized engineers in power engineering so masters programs are applied with these sub disciplines so if you are thorough in btech you will go for the research on the power generation and power research and another another discipline is control engineering so control system is available in the btech areas btech uh, range so if you are perfect in the control system subject so you can implement such controllers electrical engineers may use electrical circuits digital signal process microcontrollers plcs program logic controllers and engineering uh, control engineering has a wide range of applications from the flight and pol propulsion system of commercial airlines to the crucial control present in many modern automobiles it also plays an important role in industrial automation and desired manner nothing but this uh, on site uh, uh, development on board computing on board uh, launching of the computing system so these control systems are very much essential so if you are uh, if you are sending a uh, any like uh, satellite from the earth to uh, uh, sky the control panel engineers are very much important so like drdo like uh, any aerospace uh, platforms so they are working on this uh, the very much useful for these control engineers to control the signals to trace or uh, place the or uh, launch the vehicle in a safe manner and safe zone so send that vehicles in the safe manner we are going to be use this control engineers on board computing to control the signals and track the uh, vehicle on the right path electronic engineering involves the design and testing of electronic circuits that use the properties of the components such as resistors capacitors inductors diodes and transistors to achieve the particular functionality so as electric engineers also so as i told electronics and electri electric engineering is the triple e so you need to be minimum average knowledge on this components like resistors and capacitors inductors and transmission transistors so like these are the basic electronic components so transistor types what type of transistor the pnp or npn transistor or uh, uh, what do you call that uh, 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 resistors resistor types how much ohm is there and diodes or forward bias or reverse bias which type which type of diodes are using and inductors so inductor di inductors what kind of inductors you are using these are all instrumental control devices which are using to be in the system on on board computing so by using these electronic components you can make success in the electric uh, devices another section is instrumentation engineering so this is the one of the research area in electrical engineering instrumentation engineering deals with the design of devices measure the physical quantities such as pressure flow of temperature the design of 
such instrumentation requires a good understanding of physics that often extended beyond electromagnetic theory. So, that is why instrumentation engineering is also one of the good example, uh, better uh, research area for the graduate engineers to settle their life. The major core subject in BTEC electrical engineering is power systems, electrical machines and designs, electronic circuits analysis and synthesis, power electronics, electromagnetic fields and uh, computer aided power system, CAD system and utilization of electrical power, electrical engineering materials, instrumentation and control system. So, these are the major subjects. So, students need to be concentrated on this electrical machines and designs. So, electrical machines and two stroke machine or three stroke machine or four stroke machine and for example, uh, three phase induction motor, two phase induction motor and uh, uh, resistance box and these are all uh, machine, machinery, uh, mach machines one and machines two labs, these experiments are available. So, students need to be go this machines one and machines two lab and need to be completely recorded data, need to be thoroughly knowledge on that and definitely you will get a important analysis data and report data from this laboratory and which will be and fruitful enhancement used for the industry related applications. So, these are the basic electricity symbols you may aware that. So, definitely you can learn in the future like voltage, ammeter, current and an indication of the voltage and DC voltage, AC voltage, diode check. So, and resistance box these are the basic symbols and definitions of the what is current, what is uh, voltage. So, need to be learn and we need to be aware about this minimum basic electricity knowledge. So, these are the symbols of the different uh, devices used in electronics. So, like Gina diode, Scotchy diode and transient diode, LED diode and photo diode, varactor diode. So, these applications are already available in the other side. So, Gina diode is nothing but designed to have a very low frequency, low, uh, low voltage to high voltage. So, like uh, uh, LED diode, LED is nothing but it is a generating the lights, LED lights, for example, you are using P injection diode, forwarding diode or reverse diode, nothing but generating the power, sending the power into forward bias or reverse bias. So, by using photo diode, photoelectric diode. So, different diodes are using to control the electricity by using electronics. So, these are the different devices. So, we can observe capacitor, inductor, LED diodes and uh, visually we can observe it. So, these are the different transistors. BJT, NPT, FET to field effect transistor, MOSFET, CMOS and these are all available in the market to establish a circuit. So, these will play pivotal role and crucial role to transmit electricity. So, these are the basic examples of the transistors and uh, capacitors examples visually we can observe and magnetic uh, induction motor. So, winding for example, electric uh, parameter and electrical motor. So, motor winding is one of the uh, good practice for the electrical engineers. So, how to wind 3 core or 4, 2 core winding is very much important. So, we can winding also learn from, learn in your laboratory electrical motor winding and this is a transformer, at least need to be have analysis of that what kind of transformer, transformer winding and uh, secondary coil what is primary coil, how the transformer is working and transformer principle and primary coil and TNT, secondary coil and TNT, how the energy will be stored in the transformer. Transformer is just no transformer in current supply out the A transformer low energy la store out the by using this coil system, secondary coil and winding system, we can store the data. The current is coming in AC current and sending into DC current. So, how we are sending? So, these are all analyzed in the electrical technology methods. So, these are the major laboratories. So, department has three major laboratories. So, the student of EEEE gain enough knowledge, practical knowledge and industry requirement, the labs, network laboratory, control system laboratory, fluid mechanics and hydraulic machinery laboratory, these are the major laboratories. So, electrical workshop, so house wiring you can learn and uh, electrical machines lab you can, AC and DC components you can learn and basic uh, electrical engineering lab you can learn circuit analysis and verification theorems you can learn from the electrical lab. So, another lab is computer programming lab, electronic device circuits lab, this is electronics lab and engineering IT workshop lab, language communication skills, fluid mechanics, hydraulic machinery lab and electrical circuits and simulation lab, electrical machines lab. As I told, machines lab 1 and machines lab 2 will give lot of knowledge to gain in electrical machines analysis. So, this is the measurement lab. 
So calibration will be done in measurement lab and uh, physical parameters you can observe transmission power electronics lab to familiar different power electronics device circuits advanced electrical engineering lab. So higher education is so that's why uh, students can learn lot of things from the laboratory. So gain knowledge and recorded data is available in the laboratories. So people can learn by analyzing different devices. So like uh, students can triple students can learn things from the subject as well as the laboratories as well as the real time analysis of the data and uh, in the laboratory data. So uh, uh, that is all that is that is in one one kind of B.Tech undergraduation course and at the same time the B.Tech engineering students have higher education masters like the scope of uh, completion of B.Tech electrical engineers they have good uh, enough knowledge in the uh, triple E they will get immediate jobs in the public sector as well as the private sector so to in power sector areas and meanwhile the candidates have the interest to study higher studies they, go, they can go for the higher master of technology in electrical engineering power system engineering control engineering and different research areas also they can go so this is another laboratory machines 2 and uh, power electronics laboratory so possible dif dif uh, disciplines in the master level so students those are completed btech level so if you get a job easily uh, by uh, public service uh, examinations that is okay if you are not interested you can go for the further research also power system system control and non conventional energy system distribution system and power system uh, uh, analysis and computer allied com power systems power system and power electronics and uh, consulting organizations like academic industry and organ R and organizations so, like private agencies like vijay electrical is there so private sector people can they are recruiting uh, electrical engineers like uh, uh, reliance also entered and uh, adani ambani also entered into the, into this power generation so every organization required more engineers in the power generation sector so they need to be have a good excellent strong knowledge on electrical components electrical theorems and electrical generation systems and primary basic knowledge on electrical systems so easily they can subject knowledge easily they can go and trace the uh, job in the public sector the branch deals with the various electrical switch gears transformers dynamo meters analog digital multimeters so load bank uh, load banks resistors inductive and capacitance other equipments are available expertise electrical engineering laboratories and industrial control makes programming language plcs and variety of control relays can contractors and timers so relays are very much uh, anal anal analysis systems if you are thorough knowledge and control relays so relays that's why as i told real time uh, launch vehicles or onboard systems are possible by this control engineers only so drdo like uh, like any uh, defense organization if they are sending vehicles on 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 space or launching vehicles so controlling in the right path is possible by this controlling engineers and relays engineers in the market so major job opportunities for this electrical engineers is being one of the core subject engineering the job prospect of the btech triple e are available almost all sectors as modern life is completely dependent on electrical objects so electrical engineers have a great demand in almost all fields having a post graduate degree will increase the prospects also so like electrical engineers electrical graduates they nowadays almost many uh, motors uh, vehicles are coming electrical vehicles so the electrical vehicles is coming nothing but so generation saving the power of the nation so electrical vehicles are coming electrical electrical systems are upgrading themselves so the electrical vehicle system itself has a huge recruit, recruitment to how the electrical vehicles are going to be uh, in safer mode or nothing but save the power in electrical vehicles by reducing their utilization so these sectors are very much es essential so power sector is very much demand in the market and at the same time the students who are completed their btech in power uh, electrical engineering so they easily they can place on this different uh, public sector as well as private sector to settle in the public sector jobs and service the real time in the society related jobs only only majority jobs are available in public sector like power grid and uh, power transmission agencies northern and southern nptc like uh, all uh, power grid agencies and uh, private sector also these power engineers are available so every every year uh, government is releasing uh, notification for this awe engineers assistant engineers 
as well as the graduate engineers, uh, uh, engineers, and every year they are recruiting the sub engineers in the R and B section also. They are recruiting electrical engineers. So likewise, public public related jobs are available these electrical engineers. So as if you are subject oriented student. Our uh, real-time subject-oriented tough uh, knowledge student definitely you will be placed in a good, uh, good uh, place, good uh, organization or good package subject uh, student in the market. Like job opportunities are more for electrical engineers, so they need to be concentrated on the subject. So from the household to uh, industry, everywhere uh, electricity is used. For example, the operation of electric power stations. Like substations and power generation stations, and uh, power control agencies, everywhere the electric power is much more important. So that's why all the students need to be thorough knowledge on this three subjects. Definitely they will get to be placed on the public related jobs. So as I told, electric cars are demand more, and electric vehicles are demanding more in that case also. And top recruiters like public sector units only, like uh, majority is related jobs is public sector public sector job. That is Indian Coal Limited, ONGC, and IOCL, NPTs, NP, NPT, NTPC, and Sail, Bell, BHEL, Gale, DR, DRDO, Hall, BPCL, Airport Authority of India, Bharat Dynamic Limited, BML, BSNL, MTNL, or AP Transco, AP Genco, Discoms, power plants like GMR, Reliance, Damodar Valley, etc. These are all private agencies. So if you go to these company sites and visit regularly and observe their Mark uh, uh, their work, and easily definitely you will concentrate on, on that. You definitely you are going to be a success engineer in the future. So as I told, electrical engineer not a simple task job. It is a purely handwork job. It is a purely a subject job. So it is nothing but a simple programming or any other. It's a physical market related and involving re related job. So you need to be definitely subject knowledge. And analyze each company sites and go to websites and analyze their market demand. And you need to be upgrade your skills and definitely you will be placed. There will be a many people are uh, uh, estimating that Triple is the toughest branch. So if you join in that, you may not pass. You may not get a job. But if you are joining in electrical uh, uh, course, definitely you will get good job. Like com competition is less if you are a talented student or if a talented fellow, definitely you will get a job. So that's why with this, I'll conclude. So as electrical engineer, definitely you will get bright future in the public sectors and you will be placed in a good role to generate power and save the power and your contribution will be more for the nation and you will be a good engineer in the society and you will serve the nation. Wish you good luck. Thank you.